Uh, that's partially because of the food. Um, especially that it's like heavy fried, terrible for you kind of stuff to eat every day. First, first one I went to was right here, so that's where I really got that. I used to eat at another couple of places around town and then was introduced to this yeah, about four or five years ago. And, you know, my doctor loves it, I imagine. <laughs> I tweet about a lot of stuff that I like. Mainly, you know, I guess it's not really like the shameless plug consideration for it, but if there's something I like and there's a business I'm a fan of, and you know, I tweet about a ton of stuff anyway. Probably, I don't have any idea how many, probably 20, 30 tweets a day, but you know, I definitely tweet on Instagram all the food I do every day. And, because I eat you guys so often, that happens to go hand in hand, I guess. Yeah, my favorite taco is definitely the fried avocado. It's awesome. You know, it's, I, it's not, I'm not vegetarian. It's a vegetarian taco, but it's awesome. I'm a huge avocado eater. A lot of times I get it with trashy style and, you know, get some good queso fix at the same time. I've made the joke that, yeah, I attribute all of my success of defeating cancer to Torchy's queso and Topo Chico much less than my, my carrot MD Anderson. And I imagine my doctor, my oncologist, definitely doesn't agree with that one, but no, I made the joke because. Um, a couple of years ago when I was really sick, I, I, I was eating it three times a week, I think. And I've had a few people like reply back to that and just kind of like laugh about it. And then it's just cool to get that, that kind of feedback from some others at the same time. So I don't know, it's kind of like one of those comfort food things when you're, especially when you're going through chemo and you feel like every day and you can't eat and you don't have any, you know, good appetite. It's, there's certain comfort foods that you're going to find. So yeah, I attached myself to the queso pretty quickly. No, no, there's only one way to eat the queso. And what anybody says, I don't care. It's you have to stir everything in right up front before you make your first bite. Before the first bite, you have to. No, there's like a perfect balance. It's hard to screw with that. You gotta mix it in. Otherwise, yeah, you get a big glob of all the Diablo and, and the kink and the you know, guacamole in there, but you gotta mix it all in there consistently. Because otherwise, you get all the great, like, you know, the glob of guac and, and the Diablo sauce all in there, but you, then you only get to enjoy it for a couple of bites. Otherwise, it's just like a completely different pile at the bottom, so there's nothing really, you're missing out on the flavors. <laughs> so you gotta mix it in.